What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to move images on a canvas with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move images on a canvas. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video we looked at putting a little circle on the screen, just drawing a circle, and then moving it with the arrow keys. In this video we're going to use images, I haven't showed you how to use images on a canvas yet, so we're going to first show you how to do images on a canvas and then after that show you how to move them around and it's very similar to how we moved around the circle in the last video so if you understood that you'll have no problem with this whatsoever but we do need to you know show you how to do actual images and it's super easy and that's what we're going to do now so i've got some starter code i call it canvas underscore img dot pi we've got just our basic you know kinter starter code that we always have our main loop I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal. And then I just created a canvas here. So we've got width and height and X and Y. And we'll use the X and Y later to move it. And then we've just put our canvas on the screen like we've done already the last few videos. So you should be familiar with this. If you haven't seen the last few videos, check the link in the comment section below. There's a playlist link there and you can check them out. So we've got the canvas we called My Canvas. It's a canvas. We put it in root. The width is W, which is this guy. The height is H, which is this guy. And I just made the background white so that we can distinguish it from the gray background of our regular program and we just pack this guy on the screen give it a pad y to push it down a little bit and uh then we get this white square here right so let's go ahead and close this right, so to put an image on your canvas it's super easy you just create a variable i'm going to call it an img or you can call it a image or whatever uh, img works and we, we want to set this equal to a photo image and we've we've looked at this in the past and then we just want to define where the file is sitting. So I've put this in our images directory, and I, I just created a little file called me.png. So if you've been following along, you know we have a, a directory that I created in our C GUI directory where we keep all of our files called images. And from time to time, I stick an image in there, and I just stuck this me.png file, which is just a picture of my head with a little stick figure that I made in Photoshop. The image is irrelevant. So we've now defined the image itself, now we can put this on the canvas and we do this in the same way that we've done the other things in the previous videos like ovals and rectangles we create a create oval or a create rectangle instance basically and then assign that to a variable well now we're using a create image instance same thing just slightly different word and so let's just create this let's call this i don't know my underscore image and this is going to equal my underscore canvas dot create underscore image right and just like the other things we need to pass some coordinates so i'm just going to start out at zero and zero and then i'm also going to anchor this we've looked at anchoring things in the past in the northwest so top right and then we can just define what our image is going to be so our image is going to be img which is just this guy right here right so these are coordinates x and y coordinates right remember our grid is x is horizontal y is up and down so zero, zero, I want to anchor this in the top left corner, top left, <laughs> where the camera goes. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And now let's head over to our Git Bash terminal and we can run Python canvas underscore IMG dot pi. And when we do, here we see this little image is now at zero, zero, which is over zero, up zero in the Northwest column, in the Northwest section of our canvas, right? And boom, there it is. And here's our little image. So if we want to move this around, I don't mean like, programmatically with arrows i mean right at the beginning when we place it in the first spot we would just change the coordinates right here so let's say we wanted this over remember this is a width of 600 and this particular image is like 85 86 pixels so if we wanted to go halfway over that would be 300 but it's also 86 pixels of the image itself so we have to sort of let's maybe subtract 40 from that so let's go 260 if we save this and now run it, we can see, okay, it's, you know, roughly in the middle now. If we wanted to put it down, say halfway mark, we could do that. So the height is 400, so the halfway mark would be 200, but that's not going to put us straight in the middle. Well, let me run this and show you, because we also have to take into account the, 
the width of the image, right? So it starts here, which is the halfway mark, but the image is like, I don't know, 150 or so uh, height. So if we subtract half of that from this, so half is of 150 is what, 75-ish? So it would be 125-ish, something like that. Save this, run it, and now our guy is roughly in the middle. And so you understand the coordinate system there. So that's pretty simple. So that's all it takes to put images on a canvas. You just define the image right here, point it to whatever it is. Now this is a relative path. It's gonna look in our GUI directory because that's where this file itself has been saved. And it's gonna see this images directory in our GUI directory. You could also be explicit here, right? You could go C, uh, probably lowercase c is what we want, slash GUI slash images. Right. If you want to be, you know, specific about it, if we save this and run it, we're going to get we're going to get the same thing. Uh, let's close this first and then run it again. And we get the same thing. So uh, just sort of keep in mind relative paths versus absolute paths. Either way it works. It's just a matter of uh, your particular needs at the time. So that's how you add an image. Now we can move this image around just like we moved our dot around in the last few videos. So I'm just gonna copy the, the code from the last few videos and, and slap this on the screen. Remember we're binding the arrow keys of our keyboard. So the left arrow key, the right arrow key, the up arrow key, and the down arrow key to these left, right, up, and down functions. We can then write those up, down, left, and right functions, which I'm just gonna copy from the last video. We may have to modify them a little bit. So left, right, up, down. Here, we're doing X and Y, and this is my canvas.move. Uh, this should be what we wanna move. In this case, we wanna move my image. So we could just change all of these to my image. And these are the coordinates we wanna move to. Uh, so that looks good. So now if we go ahead and save this and run it again, we have our guy here. And now when we hit our arrow keys, you can see <laughs> this very handsome stick figure starts to walk around the screen and oh, it's going this way and it goes over and then comes up over here and then oh, look at this and then way over here and then over some more and then down, oh, look at this, there it is. <laughs> I'm just having fun here. So uh, obviously we can move this around with the mouse too. Maybe I'll show you how to do that coming up, but drag this around with our mouse. But for right now, we're just looking at binding arrow keys and we can move our image around like this. So. Obviously this is not ex exciting if you're building a game or something, but this is sort of a building block thing you sort of need to understand before you can get into more advanced gamey things or whatever you wanna do. Like obviously we can make this little guy's feet move and stuff as he's walking, but you know, that's a whole different thing. Uh, for now, we just want the basic concepts of how to move an image and this is how you do it. So very, very simple. And to go over that again, all we do is bind these things to our keyboard like we looked at this in the last video. If you don't understand this, watch that video. And then we just say what we want to move. My canvas dot move. The thing we want to move is my image. What is my image? My image is this create image thing with an image of IMG, which we defined right here. So pretty straightforward and uh, pretty easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.